Hey guys, um, okay, so I made a post the other day asking you all what your biggest struggle was um, in terms of health and fitness. And so I just wanted to answer um, or help you out with one of the questions that was um, that I saw pop up a lot. And it was um, just like not having the time to eat healthy and to um, exercise. And I get it, like it's, it's super hard when you're trying to focus on your work and um, if you have kids or you just have a really, really busy life. I know it's really hard to focus on your health and fitness um, all the time because things just get so out of control. Um, so I just came up with five things for you to try and follow um, that would make such a difference if you implemented these little things every day. The days that you can't make it to the gym um, or you forgot to uh, prep your food for the day so you're off and like you, you just you don't really have a chance to eat healthy because you forgot to pack. Try and keep this in your mind next time this happens because just doing little healthy things, making little choices throughout the day, um, actually add up to um, a pretty good day. So here they are. So number one is to try and get um, 10 minutes in in the morning, 10 minutes at lunch, 10 minutes at dinner of any kind of exercise. Um, this is only 10 minutes long. You can't tell me that you don't have an extra 10 minutes here and there throughout your day. Um, if you don't have time to hit the gym or do a full on workout, this helps a lot and it adds up to 30 minutes at the end of the day. Um, that five times a week, there's your workout. So if it's squats, um, push-ups, or sit-ups, you can just rotate through those three. Those are three really effective um, exercises. So just doing that would help you so much. Um, and you might look crazy just standing there doing squats, but it's, it's crazy not to take care of your body. So um, yeah, that's number one. Okay, number two is say you forgot your food or whatever that day and you have to eat what they have in the office or what is around you, you have to go grab something at the store or there's not the healthiest food choices. So chances are you're probably gonna be eating a lot of carbs. Um, and if that's the case, if you're eating like sandwiches and things like that, um, just make sure that when you come home that night, you're not eating any carbs, that you balance it out with a good protein with vegetables um, and just pick it up on your way home from work. But um, yeah, something as small as that, just, just don't eat carbs when you get home, you know, balance it out, think about balance. And number three, this is super important, just make sure you're drinking a ton of water. If you can't necessarily eat super healthy, super clean that day, um, and you can't get an exercise in, at least drink a ton of water. This just raises your um, metabolism and it makes you feel fuller, it just gets everything going, uh, flushes out your system, it's just, it's good all around. There's a million and one benefits of water. Um, just try and focus on that if you can't get in a good workout and um, if you didn't bring your lunch or bring any food to work. Uh, just drink a ton of water. And the next one is kind of what like not to do. So I know a lot of people, they'll wake up, not eat anything, drink coffee, go to work, have either a bad meal there or they won't eat at all and then they'll come home and just like pig out and just binge on a bunch of bad food and then they sit down and watch TV. It's like that is the worst thing that you can do because your body didn't have food all day so the first thing that it gets it's just going to want to cling on to anyways um, and when it's a bunch of carbs and a bunch of bad food and then you're not even using it as energy you're just sitting there on the couch or whatever it is you're doing it's going to get stored as fat. That's like the worst thing that you can do. So just throughout the day, try and eat um, just like little things here and there if you can, just to keep your metabolism like not dead. <laughs> um, and don't come home and eat a, just like five meals worth of food. And then lastly, um, just try and make little food swaps here and there throughout the day. So if you are eating something bad or something not considered healthy, so say it's a cheeseburger or something, make little food swaps, like take off the cheese, or in your coffee, have a little less sugar. Um, trade, get rid of the soda and have um, seltzer water instead. So it's like little swaps like that that you can do um, throughout the day will really, really add up and um, it makes a big difference. Um, yeah, these are five things that you can just choose and pick from or do all five um, on days that you just can't exercise, you don't have the time to get in the gym, um, and you forgot your food and you don't have the time to prep or whatever it may be, these little things, just try doing them every day and see where that gets you. Um,
But yeah, I hope this was helpful for you. I'm going to be answering more questions uh, that you guys had written on my post uh, throughout the week, um, just making videos of them, answering them for you because I really want to help you guys out. So uh, let me know if this helps you at all and I hope everyone had an amazing Tuesday.